In this video, I want to take a quick moment and show you how to adjust the currency in your copy of FM Starting Point. I get asked this question a couple times per week, and this is really important to everyone out there who want to adjust their copy of FM Starting Point or any other FileMaker database where you don't want to use US dollars, but you want to use some other currency like euros, pounds, pesos, dinars, rupees, rubles, plex, etc, etc, etc. It's actually pretty simple to do. So first off, this is not a change that you do at the field definition level. This is a change that you do at the layout level on a field by field basis. So here I am in the invoices screen in FM starting point. I'm going to go ahead and edit the layout and I have my inspector right here. I'm going to move it over just a bit so I can see it. And I can make this change to any field that's a number field. And all we're doing is adjusting the data formatting to that number field. The data formatting is essentially a very superficial layer that lives over the top of the number. We're not adjusting anything deep down in the database. We're simply adjusting how FileMaker will superficially display that information. So for example, I have unit cost here, unit price here, cost and price right here. Now I'm holding the shift key down right now so I can select all four of these fields. Now I have four different tabs up here in my inspector. I'm going to select the data tab. Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I see data formatting. Now if your arrow is turned up like this, go ahead and turn it down and make sure you scroll to the bottom. Then you're going to look for this section right here called currency. And this is where you can change your symbol to something else. You can change it to anything you want. Just find the currency symbol for your currency. Now keep in mind right here we can specify that we want to use currency or we want to use a percentage or we just want to use the information as entered or general. Now if you're already in FM starting point and you're dealing with a financial number then most likely it's already set to a currency. Now keep in mind right here this is important. You have a couple different currency options right here. You can specify that the currency is out in front and whether a negative will be in front of the currency or behind it and also whether the currency indicator is actually a trailing indicator to the right of the number itself which is an option right here. Now I know some currencies operate this way and this is an option right here as well. So you can select this option right here and then you're done. That's all you have to do. And then you go back over here. You can go back to browse mode if you want or say exit layout and now the changes are made. So instead of these being five dollars and ninety-five cents dollars, they're five dollars and ninety-five cents some other currency. Notice I also specified that it's a trailing indicator as well. So pretty slick. That's all you have to do. Now keep in mind, once again, we did not do this at the field definition level. We did not go into file, manage, database, and we didn't go in here into fields and make the change here. Therefore, the change is not made universally. Notice that we still have dollars down here. We have to go to every field on every layout where we want this change to be made. So if you have a number of different layouts, if we have a list view over here with invoices, we're going to have to make that change over here as well. So it's going to take a little bit of work to do this. So you might want to set an hour or two aside to work through your database to make these changes. But once you've done it, then you're all set to go. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea how to customize FileMaker for your particular currency.